بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو ٹو مائی سیکنڈ پوڈ کاسٹ اینڈ دس پوڈ کاسٹ از بینگ میڈ آن یور ڈیمانڈ ویل گائز آئی ایم ریئلی تھینک فل ٹو یو فار یور کائنڈ فیڈ بیک آن مائی فرسٹ پوڈ کاسٹ آئی اسٹل ریمبر آئی ریڈ مینی میسیجز آن مائی فرسٹ پوڈ کاسٹ اینڈ آئی وانٹیڈ ٹو سی ہاؤ یو فیلٹ اباؤٹ اٹ اینڈ آئی گاٹ ویری گڈ فیڈ بیک اینڈ دیٹس وائی آئی ایم میکنگ دس سیکنڈ پوڈ کاسٹ فار یو گائز مینی آف یو آسٹ می کویشچنس دیٹ واٹ آر کولوکیشنس اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو یوز کولوکیشنس وے ٹو فائنڈ کولوکیشنس اینڈ آل دیٹ سو آئی ڈسائڈ آئی شوڈ میک مائی سیکنڈ podcast on collocations so guys i am actually in this podcast i'm not going to tell you only about collocations rather i'm going to teach you some collocations as well so let's take a start as i told you collocation is basically a group of words that uh, always come together so uh, in uh, language actually you know the non native speakers they join the words because when the non native speakers join the words they do not follow that set pattern which is followed by native speakers so therefore it's a good idea to learn the collocations now let's take a start for example if there is a word acquire acquire means to get uh, in urdu like we say in urdu hindi we say hasil karna lena acquire so for acquire there can be collocations like acquire information now see otherwise you can say get information instead of get it's better to say acquire information acquire knowledge acquire opportunity acquire a skill acquire a status so this is how you guys learn the collocations and you know basically it's fun with one word you're going to make seven eight words so it's going to be fun and you can make more and more words and this can improve your knowledge this can improve your language skills this can improve your vocabulary and all that now let's move on uh, let's pick up another word and we make four five collocations with that admire the word is admire so let's make some collocations with admire admire the quality admire skill admire view admire work admire courage for example i really admire your courage i really admire the quality of food in your restaurant i really admire the skill or i really admire your skill of communication like that or i really admire your communication skill in the same way let's move on i'm teaching you some collocations now the word is cancel you might have uh, read this word you might have heard this word many times now whenever uh, and by the way you can practice i mean just think about cancel and think about the words that can be joined with cancel like cancel the meeting cancel the party cancel the plan cancel the program like that so let's see i'm going to teach you some more collocations with cancel for example cancel agreement okay cancel agreement cancel appointment cancel booking cancel holiday cancel meeting cancel trip and cancel the visit for example the prime minister cancelled his visit or we will cancel our plan or we will cancel the holidays or i have cancelled my booking in your hotel or you can say uh, well excuse me i have cancelled this appointment i have cancelled this appointment so guys these are collocations and i'm teaching you some collocations and you are listening to asad yakub from asad yakub podcast okay and i really want to know your feedback about this because you know now we are connected through voice only there isn't any video it's just the audio so i'm feeling great about it okay let's go on this time i'm going to teach you some more collocations and the word which i have selected that is destroy now just think about this word destroy everybody knows this word destroy destroy now let's see some collocations with destroy destroy ability destroy bond destroy building destroy ecosystem destroy forest destroy hope destroy industry destroy life 
and destroy prospect. See that? I mean, there are many words which we learned from a single word and that single word is destroy. Now, let's move on. This time, I've picked up another word and that is enhance. Enhance means to increase. E-N-H-A-N-C-E, -E, enhance. So, just guys, think about enhance. Enhance the ability, enhance la 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 la, blah 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 blah, okay? Some words like that come to mind. So, let's just go on and we're going to learn some uh, collocations with the word enhance. Get ready. Enhance ability. Enhance appearance. Enhance chance. Enhance the environment. Enhance the image. Enhance performance. Enhance quality. Enhance relationship. Enhance skill. Enhance value. And so on. So guys, see that? This is what we call uh, collocation and this is how we can make collocations and I would advise you to make sentences. Do not just learn the collocations without sentences. You should use them in your sentences. Now, I'm going to give you another example of a collocation and we are going to use this collocation together in sentences. Are you ready for that? Huh? Are you enjoying? Huh? Just comment and tell me. I'm quite excited because you know, Whenever you do something new, whenever you do something which is not the part of your routine, you tend to enjoy that initially. So I'm enjoying making this uh, podcast for you guys. Anyways, the word which I'm going to select that is, uh, okay, there's so many words in front of me. Let's just select the word ignore. Now see ignore. You ignore someone, you ignore something and all that. Ignore is the word. So let's make some collocations. The first one is ignore advice. For example, he ignored his parents' advice. He ignored his teacher's advice. If you ignore my advice, you will not be successful. If you ignore your IELTS trainer's advice, you will not be able to get your desired band, okay? So see that, ignore advice. So this is how you guys need to do, you need to work all alone. Now let's go on. There's another one, ignore problem. For example, never ignore problems in your life. I ignored a major problem. Oh, I'm sorry, I ignored this problem something like that okay next one is ignore warning do not ignore the warning signs on the road or i ignored this warning i beg your pardon or i truly apologize because i ignored this warning sign something like that so basically these are collocations and you have to use collocations in your IELTS speaking, for example, if there's a question in IELTS and you say, well, actually, people tend to ignore the warnings. Now, when you say people ignore the warnings, wow, that's amazing. So, and, and by the way, there are so many of them. It's just not one or two. Let's go on with some more. Okay, this time I select a word, remove remove okay now we see if we can make some good collocations with remove now the first one is remove barrier remove barrier remove obstacle remove restriction remove rule remove stain now let me make some sentences okay if you want to make progress in life you have to remove all the barriers in your way right then remove obstacle for example you can say i removed all the obstacles and finally i achieved my desired band in order to be successful you have to remove all the obstacles in your way like that okay now remove restriction for example the government has removed all the restrictions or our university has removed all the restrictions on the students something like that see that so you have to make sentences and by the way whenever you make sentences keep IELTS speaking in mind keep IELTS writing in mind keep the topics of essay writing in mind when you are making sentences and keep cue card in mind when you are making sentences even keep uh, speaking part 
three in mind speaking part uh, one in mind now for example i pick up another what do you say collocation and i make some sentences with that uh, okay this time the collocation is take very simple word take we use it quite a lot so take action right for example i make a sentence uh, if we take action definitely we can achieve anything in life next is take uh, breath take breath so you can say i was quite tired so i stopped to take breath this is how you take breath huh so you can just use it or you can say take chance uh, i know my english is not that good still i want to take a chance to take ielts test right and then it can be like take opportunity take photograph will you take my photograph take responsibility i always take responsibility or you can say if you take responsibility of your life you can be successful easily take risk people who take risk they are the successful ones or those who take risk they often succeed okay next is take step i always take step in the right direction if you take steps in the right direction you can achieve your goal something like that so guys say see that with take we've got take action take approach take breath take chance take job take lead take opportunity take photograph take responsibility take risk and uh, there are so many collocations okay so this is how with one word you can make 10 words and you go on and on now there are some collocations which we can make with adjectives for example i've got one adjective that is active now i'm going to use active with other words now just listen carefully now these are the collocations with adjective active involvement active life active member active part active participation active role active support okay at the same time we got another word adequate adequate means enough or sufficient right adequate for example adequate income i can say my income is quite adequate for my family or he earns adequate income to support his family okay see that guys with one word i mean i would say collocations are magic collocations improve your language skills they improve your writing skills they improve your speaking skills and i'm so sure if you're going to use appropriate collocations seven band in speaking will be a piece of cake for you believe you me and even seven band in ielts writing and ielts speaking that's going to be quite simple okay because you're going to use collocation your english is going to look uh, natural it's going to be like the english of native speakers and examiners will be forced to give you your desired band score okay even more and then we just finish this here because this uh, podcast is getting longer because i'm so excited anyways see that we've got a word criminal now let's see what sort of uh, uh, collocations we can make with the word criminal for example criminal act now criminal is adjective criminal act criminal action criminal activity criminal behavior criminal gang criminal history criminal investigation criminal liability criminal matter criminal offense criminal penalty criminal record criminal tendency so many words with one word and again i tell you the best way to remember these words is just to use them in sentences or maybe you can make a book of collocations your personal book of collocations and write all the collocations down you can google them as well and once you learn the collocations then whenever you read you'll say ah this is a collocation i know this i know this okay so it's just going to be like an old friend you're going to meet somewhere okay so this is how we've got the collocations with your adjectives and we've got collocation with other parts of speech as well Let's have uh, some more collocations. I'm going to pick up a word this time and we're going to make uh, some collocations. See diet. Diet is very common and it's it's a very good topic in IELTS writing. So with diet we can make balanced diet, daily diet, 
elemental diet, free diet or you can say diet free as well, healthy diet, normal diet, poor diet, strict diet, varied diet and vegetarian diet. Okay, so with dieting or with diet, you can make many collocations like that. And let me give you one more example. Problem. Yes, guys, just imagine you got a problem and solution essay in IELTS and you want to know some collocations which you can use there. So they can be economic problem, emotional problem, financial problem, immediate problem, major problem, mental problem, personal problem, practical problem, serious problem, social problem, technical problem. Okay, so with one word problem, we've got so many, so many, so many collocations. Now it's your job to Google uh, some collocations, right? You can just go to Google and there you can write uh, collocations and you can find these collocations and use them in your spoken English, use them in your IELTS speaking, section one, two, three, use them in your IELTS writing, especially essay writing and letter writing. And obviously you can use them in your report writing as well. So these collocations are going to give a good, uh, what do you say, a good touch to your English language. Hence, you're going to be able to get your required band score. If you like my this uh, podcast, huh, if you like my second podcast, definitely you must hit the like button and don't forget to comment because guys, your comments are my oxygen. Exactly. Your comments are my oxygen. When you comment, I read your comments and I act upon your comments and by the way you know the actions i take they depend on your comments so that's why I comment wisely do let me know what you want to learn from me and definitely i'm going to come up with uh, solutions do share your problems in ielts with me and i'm going to come up with some solid solutions because i am here to help you out thank you very much asad yakub wishes you all the best with your ielts preparation Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye. Adios. Cheerio.